Pata, when he intends a thing, he just commands it, be, and at once, it is. Pata, the God who created the world by His Word. Pata is one of the oldest gods in Egyptian mythology. His name can be translated as the opener, in relation to the opening of the mouth ceremony. He dates back to the first dynastic period and the third millennium BC. Pata was the creator of the world, Lord of Truth, and chief god of the city of Memphis. He is depicted as a mummified man wearing a skull cap and a short, straight, false beard, and holding the west scepter and the ankh, symbols of authority and life-giving. He is the patron god of sculptors, craftsmen, builders, or any artists of any kind. Memphite Theology Memphite Theology can be defined as Pata created the world and everything in it by his word. A hymn to Pata dating to the 22nd dynasty of Egypt says, Pata crafted the world in the design of his heart. And the Shabaka stone from the 25th dynasty says, Pata gave life to all the gods and their cause as well through his heart and his tongue. Unlike most Egyptian creator gods, Pata himself is uncreated, having existed before anyone or anything. He willed the world into existence with the power of his mind, then naming all things in the world by means of his tongue. He used his speech, word, to give life to his creation. This is referred to as Logos creation, a concept that later became a fundamental dogma in monotheistic religions. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. His command when he intends anything is only to say to it, be, so it is. So firm is the association of Bata with the role of creator that a pillar in Memphis bears an inscription describing him as the only unbegotten begetter in the heaven and on the earth, the God who made himself to be God, who exists by himself, the double being, the begetter of the first beginning. Pata was such an important God that he was worshipped over thousands of years. Pata possessed numerous epithets, titles, and names that described his roles and characteristics. So high were the praises of this ancient Egyptian god that 19th century historians were tempted to liken him to the Christian god. Pata is variously described as the creator in heaven and earth who has made all things 
the Lord of all that is and is not, the Father of the Son God, Lord of truth, Father of the fathers of gods, the King of both worlds, the God of light which shows everything in its true form, the ruler of the sky, the beautiful face, master of justice, master of ceremonies, lord of eternity, he who listens to prayers. Patsa was one of the central gods of the Memphite pantheon. In addition to his temple in Memphis, he was also worshipped in Upper Egypt, Egyptian Nubia, and in urban areas throughout the country, most often in areas inhabited by craftspeople and artisans. Greetings to you, exalted ancient one, O Tatanen, father of the gods, eldest god of the primeval time, who shaped mankind and formed the gods, who began becoming as the first primordial god. Every event that occurred came after him, who created the sky according to what his heart imagined, and raised it up like one lifts up a feather, who founded the world as his own creation, circled it about with the ocean and the great green seas. Lord of life, who causes lungs to breathe, who offers air to every nostril, who lets all people live through his provisions. Time, fate, and fortune are under his dominion. We live by that decree which issues from his mouth. Lord of eternity, the everlasting is under his care. He breathes out life for everyone and guides the king to his great throne.